Hello everyone, this is Nikita. Thank you for joining me in this video. In this video, we would talk about specifically a product rule and the scenario in which we have to move some instances from one environment to the another environment. So suppose we have a work class and there are a lot of instances which we have created in the lower environment and we have to move all of these instances to the higher environment for maybe for a testing purpose or some other purposes, right? So how do we do that? We can do that for, with the help of product rule. So I will show you one by one how can we do that. So first of all, let's go to the records and then to the product rule. Sysadmin and then product. So I'll open one of my product rule. Okay, so here you see there is a, a class instances to include. Here I would need to add my class of instances of which we have to move it to the high environment. So here I have one class called booking, which has lot of instances. You can see so many instances, right? So I would want to move um, all of these to the high environment, right? So let me add my class here and save it. So when I save it and do a preview product file, I would see all of the instances. You can see the 29 instances I have here. So expanding it, I would see all of the 29 instances has been included. So problem solved. So now I can package and move it to the high environment. So this was one use case. Suppose I don't want to include all of my instances in this particular class. Maybe there is some filter criteria on the basis of which I have to move only those kind of cases to the high environment. What should we do? In that scenario, you can use this report definition filter. Here you would need to add a report definition and the filter of which would be used to see what all instances you want to include to the high environment. So let me add one of the RD here called test RD. This RD I have just created. Let me show you what it contains. It doesn't contain much, just uh, have, having a select clause is PYID. But what is important is what are you adding in the filter criteria? So suppose my filter criteria is the PYID should start with something called B-10. Okay, so this is my filter criteria. So if I add this in my product rule and then save it and then preview the product file. What should I see? I see only 13 instances now. Previously it was 29, right? So now open this 13 instances. You would see all of these starts from B10, right? So B11001 and others. So all of these starts with B-1. So I have included only specific instances which satisfies my filter criteria, which I have mentioned in my report definition. So this is the way that you can package uh, your specific cases or specific instances from one environment to the high environment, right? So there is another option where you can also add descendant. Suppose there is this work class, okay? L lot, lot of uh, case types which are associated with that class, right? So in that scenario, uh, maybe I want to include uh, cases from all of these. But uh, there is uh, again, you know, some criteria on the basis of which I have to do this. Or maybe I just want to include all of the cases which are existing in my class group of work. Okay. So now what I will do is I will just add work here. For now, I'll remove my report definition filter and I will add the include descendants. So what it will do is basically all of the child class or all of the case types associated with the work would be added in this product file. So let me save it and show you the preview product file. See, you have 91 instances now. So all of these are included. You could see here bifurcation, booking, onboarding, all of these 29 and 62 instances, that is 91 instances is included here. Again, of course, you can add your uh, filter here on the basis of which you can exclude a few of the instances which is not required right so you can save it do maybe do a check-in or you can generate it without check-in also but i'm just showing you okay and then the create the product file instances and this is how you just get your package 
which you can import to your other environment. Okay, so this was the short video on what you can do uh, to when you have to remove one of the few of the instances from one environment to the another environment. I hope this was useful. This is a very uh, useful scenario that comes into the real life uh, scenario in when you do your PEGA development or in your company, right? So I hope this was useful. Maybe we will come up again with another scenario and let me know if you have any other specific question that you want me to ask and make a video on. Thank you for watching this video. See you. Bye-bye.